Now, with that said, again, you're in for quite um, a series of presentations, uh, as you're going to see here shortly. I will be introducing our first speaker, but first, uh, it gives me great pleasure to introduce uh, David Pastorino, who in and of himself is, is an amazing young man. He is CEO and partner at Zaga Center since February of 2018. He's also CTO, a board member, and co-founder at Mimetis Biomaterials. And he's got a PhD, by the way, in biomaterials, biomechanics, and tissue engineering. So to say that he has an amazing background is an understatement uh, with regard to his, uh, his science-based uh, um, experience and, and schooling. But above and beyond that, he's just a, a, an impressive and wonderful human being uh, with a great touch and I think really uh, represents um, a, a true uh, gentleman uh, in the capacity of which he is in now with Dr. Aparicio. And with that said, I'll turn my mic over to him before I introduce Dr. Malavez. Uh, thank you, Dr. Picos. Uh... From my uh, background, as you said, in bone regeneration, it's a special honor to be introduced by you. Uh, I know you have a great experience in bone regeneration through the PICOS Institute, through the years of clinics. So uh, this is uh, very honored by this. And um, above all, I'd like to thank you all for being in this webinar. Uh, this is uh, a single opportunity for us. Uh, this is also a replacement for um, the physical meeting that we had with the Zaga centers and uh, hopefully we'll make the most of it. Uh, hopefully you will learn quite a lot. Uh, I say you, but I should say we. Um, I'm a material science engineer, PhD in bone regeneration and I learn every day from the Zaga centers uh, clinicians. So my uh, objective here today is to give you an overview of uh, what Zaga centers are and um, as soon as I finish, we will start directly with um, the clinician's presentation, the case they uh, learned most from, and, uh, and that's basically it. So you've seen it, you've seen this map. Uh, this is the map of Zaga centers. Uh, there are quite a few right now, so in, in a bit less than two years, the, the map quite filled up, but uh, this is not about numbers or centers or filling the map. Uh, this is about what it means. Um, I thought I would start with a very simple concept. Uh, that is, what is a Zaga Center? Because we don't want just to put a sticker on the door of, of a clinical or a dental office and, uh, and do some marketing or digital positioning or whatever. So when we certify a Zaga Center, so first we have a strict and stricter over time uh, admission criteria. And uh, we do it uh, for each Zaga Center. Here I took the example of the Zaga Center Barcelona, where the headquarters of Zaga Centers are, the Heplobone Clinic. Uh, we also assign a, uh, an area of interest, an area of exclusivity, where uh, no other Zaga Center can be certified. We use this area uh, to make the center unique, so we differentiate the office locally. It's locally exclusive, and at the same time, it's part of a global network that supports the center. Why do we do this? Uh, well, that's objective number two. We centralize zygoma patients and accumulate uh, clinical experience in the hands of one or two surgeons in that Zaga center. As you know, uh, zygomatic implants are not very common treatments. Uh, it's every day we do more and more zygoma, but it should be still a uh, last resort for all the patients. It should be the last resort. It should be the last solution when there's no bone, no other solution, and it should stay like this. And uh, the calculations or estimations that we have is that zygoma cases represent one case per office per year on average, meaning that if you want to accumulate experience, you need to uh, either work quite a number of years or have a huge number of referrals. And uh, one of our philosophical missions is to provide reliable, safer, better zygoma treatments, and this goes without any doubt through experience. So this is one of the reasons that we do that. So how do we work? Or, uh, well, Zaga Centers is a business that is um, a network, a business, a company, an adventure. It has many names, but it has a digital component that is uh, very present, very important. We use uh, mostly two websites 
one for professionals and one for patients. Uh, the message is obviously different. Uh, the professional website, you can find there all the information you may look for, network, professionals, you will find the list of all the Zaga professionals there. Uh, you will find the map with details, but this is, this is not what this uh, presentation is about. You will find um, all the scientific partners that work with Zaga. I'm thinking right now uh, mostly about um, the University of Valencia, Spain, with uh, Professor Miguel Peñarrocha. I think he's here in the attendees, so uh, good afternoon, Professor. And uh, they support us uh, and they uh, work with us uh, in that constant uh, search for progress and education in the field of zygomatic implants. You will find uh, all the information about industrial partners. So as a group of offices, we can also work with um, industrial partners. I think most of you will have seen a few announcements about a new zygomatic implant, the Zaga Starman one, uh, in collaboration with Southern Implants. Uh, I will let's uh, give the honor to the clinicians to talk more about this one. But this is one of the examples, and we are very proud of this, of this one. Uh, one important uh, set of information that you will find in this website is how to join the network. Uh, you have the admission criteria there. I don't plan to send you uh, an invitation and a contract right away, but this is to give you an idea to uh, what being into the Zaga Center's network mean and the admission criteria that you need. Uh, finally, this website, this is uh, ranked uh, globally on the website as 2% best performing websites to give you an idea of the digital effort that we have to put in. Um, why do we do this? Well, mostly because one of our missions is to uh, help patients. This goes through the professional spot, education, through the Zaga course to train and train and gather experience. And it also goes through uh, informing the patients. Uh, as you know, the zygomatic patients is every time more a Google patient. Uh, they come in having looked on Google, uh, 20, 30 different opinions and websites and clinics that um, perform zygomatic implants. And they come to you almost as a second opinion. You all know this joke, right? And um, this is why we thought it was necessary to build a portal for all the patients with uh, the frequently asked questions, with testimonials, and with a direct line to uh, the best centers that you can find in the, in, in the world. And um, this is uh, why we built zygomaticimplants.org. Uh, this is general portal for patients. It uh, totals more than 10,000 unique visitors per month. So this is quite a lot for a Zygoma uh, website. And uh, it has patient communities per country around it. Uh, so far, 10 countries. But this is going quite quickly. So this is one of the activities that we provide to the Zaga centers to help them uh, with the patients, with the general questions, uh, patient education overall. My favorite part, I think, is um, the clinical excellence. Uh, if we want to provide uh, safer treatments and more reliable treatments, we need to be very good clinically, or should I say you need to be very good clinically because I don't put my hands in the surgery. <laughs> and um, this is uh, one of the steps is to go through the Zaga course. You can find many courses, but the idea behind this is continuous education. Uh, this course is one of the building blocks of this adventure. We do it twice a year. Next year, we will do four editions in 2021. Uh, one, uh, actually, with uh, Michael Picos. And we cover from uh, diagnostic uh, planning to hands-on cryopreserved heads. Um, I'm happy to see that in the more than 500 participants of this webinar, more than 50 uh, have participated in the course. So thank you for joining us again. Uh, I took a look at the names and it's always a bit emotional to see all your names and see who's who and remember the faces. This is uh, every time a great experience for us. And even if we have the same um, activities in the course, each course is unique. So uh, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming back for quite a few of you. And thank you for being here. Um, one of the second aspects that pushes the world clinical excellence is uh, the online platform that we set up. 
the objective is to have a uh, homogeneous uh, protocol to treat zygoma. Uh, this goes uh, via an online platform where you can find uh, 16 visits that go through diagnostic um, informed consent, consent through the surgery, the calculation of the, of the ORIS, the new version of the Zaga success code, and the follow-up afterwards to actually evaluate long-term, is this treatment successful or do we have problem? And in the end, is the patient satisfied with the solution? Uh, final, last but not least, uh, the scientific publications. Uh, this is a world that we especially like in the Zaga centers. Most of us publish and uh, we have papers in preparation. I think uh, it will be commented or talked about later in this uh, webinar. But this goes for reviews, cohort studies that we can group from the online platform uh, data and um, clinical reports and so forth. So this is also an activity that uh, groups us together and we learn together. A, a little, little insight uh, on this slide, I think you have seen on the social media, uh, one of the key industrial partners and initi initiatives that we uh, work on is uh, three company adventures, Southern Implants, Charman, and Zaga Centers. Um, this is only the first announcement of a long adventure that has gone for quite a few years back and that will last for hopefully 10, 20, 30 years. And um, this is the design, manufacturing, and commercialization of a new updated Zygoma implant. So uh, Dr. Aparicio, you already thanked uh, Southern and Charman, but I wish to do so also myself. Uh, send uh, a little hive to the old Southern Implants team. I know you're all in the same room watching this uh, webinar. And uh, also congratulations for the recent FDA approval of the implant that gets us uh, closer to the market altogether. So this is uh, quite a major news for all of us. And uh, this is also the fruit of the work together. So this is good news overall. And I'm very proud of uh, being able to present it to you in this webinar. I like numbers. Uh, I'm an engineer originally. So uh, basically the Zaga centers in numbers, this is uh, two years of existence. So this is a very uh, newborn almost. Uh, we only can start to walk and speak. Uh, so far we have 33 Zaga centers in, uh, I don't know how many countries to be sincere, but quite a lot. Uh, I have to apologize for uh, the map that is not updated. We had four Zaga centers joining the network yesterday. So uh, my apologies for Fortaleza, Brazil, and the three centers in the UK that just joined that I promise I will update the map as soon as the webinar terminates. Uh, we're very proud to collaborate with two universities. This brings a lot and says a lot. And again, uh, welcome, uh, Miguel, to the, to the network. And in total, 42 professionals, uh, centers with one or two surgeons, uh, a few surgeons with two centers. That's a long adventure. but. As far as I love numbers, uh, I don't want to stay with numbers. I will um, just share what is Zaga Centers to me. Uh, between all the courses in the Zaga Centers, to me, it's a bit more like this. Uh, this is uh, a few pictures represent the plate that they receive uh, every year at the beginning of their certification. But this is all of these smiles all together from the Zaga course, bottom left uh, on the First line, we have all the Zaga certifi certification in uh, Portugal, in Spain, in France, in Spain again, in Germany. And uh, we have course participants very happy here. I know you're watching the webinar, so hi again. And, uh, and this is um, very emotional for us. Uh, as I said, every course is unique and every Zaga center is unique. I get to talk on the phone, see you to every single one of you, and, uh, and I hope it goes on like this. So. What next? Uh, I will not steal more time to this clinical webinar. Uh, first objective or first next step on my side would be, uh, well, I will, I will stop talking and we learn from the experienced clinicians during this webinar. I look forward to it. Uh, in my perspective, these are very renowned names. All the names I've got to see in the references, publications. This is an honor for, for me, for us to listen to them. The second is, um, if you're interested in becoming a Zaga Center candidate, meaning you have to go through the filters to get in, contact us through the website. You will have an email follow-up. I don't worry about this. Uh, if you want to attend the course, uh, the next edition is in September, the last day of September. 
Uh, if you need zygomatic implants yourself, uh, contact us. We have very good centers where you can go to also. <laughs> and uh, if you feel like having a chat about zygomatic implants, we can also do this. So I will, uh, now I will do two things. I will send two surveys. Uh, one, and this is entering into the logistics of the webinars. One is uh, that all the questions that you have during the clinical presentations, uh, we will record them and answer these questions in webinars in the coming weeks. So we will record them. Feel free to send the questions when you see them. Look, why did you put the implant this way? What do you do with the soft tissue? Why this, why that? You, you take the platform and, and send it in the Q&A or questions uh, category. So you can send it here. I see someone having a question. Hello from Athens, Greece. Hello from Barcelona. And uh, you can send the questions over here. Uh, from a very legal perspective, I have to ask you the right to invite you to the next webinar. So I will now send you a question. Launch. You should see it on your screen. And you should let me know if you want to be invited in the subsequent webinars, one-on-one -on -one webinars. Uh, so I'll wait a bit for you to answer. And this is just an invitation. You can come, you cannot come. Just uh, so far, I know if I send you the invitation or not. OK, I'll give you uh, 10, 15 seconds more. OK, I will close this poll. And um, I will send you another question, and I promise I'll finish with this one, is uh, if you want to receive information about the Zaga centers, the Zaga course, uh, we have uh, an email for you. We can answer all the questions one by one, but we can send you uh, information about the upcoming Zaga course that is the most um, important event that is coming now in end of September, or general information on the Zaga centers. So I will launch the next question here. Okay, I'll leave it 10 more seconds. Okay, close. So I will uh, finish my presentation now. I will um, invite uh, Dr. Nikos again. So this is basically it on my side. I would like to now sit with you and uh, listen to the um, clinical presentation. I will um, use this presentation again. Great. Thank you, David. It was a great uh, overview of the Zaga Centers. And again, I'm quite um, proud to be part um, of this wonderful network. 